chemical laboratory or lab, either with a general or high security setting, requires handling of hazardous chemicals. A chemical safety and security management system is essential to mitigate a number of related risks. Chemical safety keeps lab users safe from hazardous chemicals. General chemical safety rules include maintaining access to safety data sheets. This provides information on risks, hazards, precautions and the safe handling of chemicals. But what's often neglected is chemical security. Chemical security is as important as chemical safety, especially if your labs have dual purpose chemicals. In general, chemical security measures are designed to prevent the risk of these dual purpose chemicals being used for deliberate harm. So what is a dual purpose chemical? Dual purpose chemicals are compounds that apart from usual lab applications can also be used as or to make toxin, explosives or chemical warfare agents for criminal or terrorist activities. It is important to know the level of chemical security in your laboratory to avoid any unintended use. In general, there are eight integrated pillars of chemical security management good practices to consider. Let's look into each as a general guideline to foster chemical security in your laboratory. Access control. Dual use chemicals should be stored in secure areas. Limit access to only authorised personnel working on these chemicals. Background checks of new employee or students. Background checks of a candidate should ideally be performed before employment or admission within the limits of personal data protection acts in your country. Where possible, follow up on anomalies and verify the profile of the applicant. Operational surveillance. To impose additional surveillance and situational awareness measures in labs where chemicals are stored, practice entry logs, allow only authorized use of dual use chemicals, restrict personnel from working alone and limit access during off hours. Locked storage. Keep the chemicals stored in a secured place with limited access. Where possible, assign full-time personnel to manage and safeguard access to this storage. For added security, install a CCTV for real-time surveillance. Laboratories should also be protected from unauthorised access by the general public, ideally by a security perimeter system such as fencing and a guarded single point of entry and exit. Increase surveillance where necessary. Assign dedicated personnel to be in charge of the chemical inventory. Every purchase and usage should be documented. Practice a mass check balance on regular basis. Recognise the need to appoint a chemical security officer. The assigned officer will be in charge of promoting security policy, perform chemical security risk assessment, develop security plans and monitor security breaches to name a few. Even your procurement office can play their part. Allow chemical purchases only with companies that are formally registered with your institution where background checks and due diligence have been carried out. Refuse individual purchases that did not go through the procurement office and refused cash transactions. Deliveries of chemicals to your premises are at risk of acquisition, theft, vandalism or diversion. Ensure you use a trusted logistics provider. For added security, ensure the chemicals are delivered to a single delivery point. Upon delivery, check the items for any signs of tampering before accepting them. Information security is critical to avoid loss of sensitive data of a laboratory. Your chemical purchases and inventory records might be stored online. These important documents should be made available only to a few key personnel. Restrict access by encrypting records with password and safeguard your institution's internet system with a firewall. Practice a healthy and safe working environment by creating awareness on the importance of compliance to chemical security procedures at your institution. Educate your staff and students on code of conduct and research ethics. 
Encourage your staff and students to report any suspicious behaviour. Ensure your staff have sufficient training to respond to any chemical security breaches. Provide access to emergency communication in case of a security breach or threat. Investigate security related incidents and report them to your local law enforcement agency if necessary. Identify the leadership management structure for handling security issues. Give importance to chemical security and make it part of the agenda in your management meetings. The change starts with you. Remember, together we can make a difference. The change starts with you. National Authority for Chemical Weapons Convention Malaysia, or in short NACWC, places high importance on the implementation of the Chemical Weapons Convention in this country, especially since Malaysia is a state party to the convention. Particular emphasis is now given to the security aspects of chemical management in addition to the safety aspects in order to prevent misuse of dual-purpose chemicals in Malaysia. I am pleased that NACWC is in collaboration with University of Nottingham, Malaysia and Department of Chemistry, Malaysia to produce the awareness video on the chemical security management in laboratories in Malaysia. Since the collaboration with NACWC, we are realizing the importance of chemical security. We're looking at spearheading the efforts on policy and procedure making for chemical security in our university. We would like to be the pioneers for at least the private institutions in Malaysia on chemical security efforts by creating the right policies, which might be an exemplary for other universities for, to follow suit. The Department of Chemistry Malaysia, as the leading government laboratory, is committed in ensuring that our network of 14 laboratories throughout the country has incorporated an all-inclusive chemical security measures. Our objective is to prevent illegitimate access to chemicals of security concern. Uh, this video initiative is commended and we are proud to contribute our part for the betterment of chemical security management in Malaysia.